Well, as we told you just a couple of minutes ago, it is back to Earth this morning for the shuttle Columbia. The crew has been in space for 10 days now. CNN's Charles Jaco has been following the mission. He's here now with the latest. Charles? Well, good morning, Ralph. Right now, the shuttle Columbia is gliding under its own power, as you can see here in these live pictures from NASA. It's making a bank falling like a rock as it's traveling around 350 miles an hour. The deorbit burn came off on schedule for the world's oldest usable manned spacecraft, so the six-person crew is on target to land at the Kennedy Space Center runway in a little less than two minutes. Right now, the shuttle's at around 2,000 feet. You can see very clearly the uh, pitting of the heat shield tiles on the belly of the shuttle on this uh, marvelous NASA picture. When it lands, we'll see one of the retrofitted additions, a drag chute that will pop out from a tail cone to slow the orbiter down. And Columbia's wrapping up a 10-day science mission. NASA says it was another tiny step toward building a space station. Critics said the mission wasn't important enough to risk human lives to undertake, but while that argument simmers, and it is going to simmer for quite some time, let's listen in to Mission Control as the DC-9 sized Space Shuttle Columbia glides in for a landing at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And the pre-flare maneuvers underway, beginning to take some of the steepness out of the uh, angle of approach as Columbia is on final approach to runway 33. Columbia, we show you on and on, winds 090 at 5, PK. Okay, thanks. Seven thousand feet, descending at 183 feet per second, range four miles. Free flare still underway as uh, Columbia begins to modulate the uh, steepness of its approach to the runway. Time to touch down 45 seconds. Altitude 3,000 feet. Standing by for landing gear deployment. And we have main gear down and locked. Final flare. And touchdown, main gear touchdown. Derotation underway. Drag chute should be deployed momentarily. Good drag shoot to fly and there's your touchdown. Columbia returns to its point of origin at the Kennedy Space Center. So the redesigned shuttle brakes and the redesigned parachute worked as advertised. These were retrofitted additions to the shuttle, and the next shuttle mission is scheduled for December 2nd, and that's when the shuttle Discovery goes up for a week-long Defense Department mission. That one, too, could be controversial since national space policy has been in favor of phasing out those sort of military shuttle flights, and CNN will bring you live coverage during that mission as well as it does with all shuttle missions.